I need to sell some lumber. In today's video, we will be making a major reduction in my lumber inventory. As many of you know, Billy Joe and I, along with our dog, are making a move from Wyoming to Michigan, and we need to get there as frugally as possible. Our move isn't as simple as packing boxes and calling a moving company. We are moving ourselves with one vehicle and a trailer, so a reduction is in order. A main goal is to raise enough money to afford this move. If any of you need to catch up on this story, I'll leave the links in the description of our announcement video and the live stream answering all of your questions. We only have 30 days until our lease runs out, so time is of the essence. The shed is where the majority of my hoard is, so that needs to be addressed first. Douglas fir is my main stack, and these timbers are 75 years old, from a pole barn being torn down. They measure 3.5 by 5, and they're around 10 feet long when I acquired them. Many of them were in poor condition on the end, so I trimmed them off so I could fit them in my shed so they were protected. They just need to go. I made a Facebook listing and I've already sold 10 of these guys. Another hoard is this one by material, Barnwood. It's from a different barn and it's probably 70 or 80 years old. So I made a Facebook listing for that also. A handful of customers later and a couple of days, I have reduced my hoard significantly and also made a few dollars. It's organized and it's a little cleaner and more accessible now so I can start loading garage sale items in it. Another batch of lumber I have is this old cedar siding. These are all about five or six feet long and incredible looking once milled. The weathered finish on these boards only come from age, wind, sand, snow, and rain. The rough surface would be hard to replicate with any type of modern means. I also have around five unprocessed dug fir beams in this outdoor pile along with some random other boards, likely to be sold in my garage sale coming up. The only one by material barnwood I have left is what's sitting on this garden bench. I ended up selling nearly all the material in the barn, so I cleaned the rest of it and we were left with some miscellaneous lumber in the loft. I'm also still actively advertising the remaining Doug fur. 
fast forward and I have the loft cleaned out and the garage sale staging area started. I really can't take any of this lumber downstairs so I'm actually excavating everything. I sure wish I had a lot more time to use some of this lumber. But there's going to be lumber in Michigan too. So I will let some of these character filled boards go. Some previously milled cedar on the right hand side. Let me know in the comments if you hoard old oak flooring for projects. But I'll leave it for a bucket for $5 of the garage sale and it may end up in the dumpster. Some of the questions I had to ask myself during this purge. Can I use it now? Do I need it for later? Can I just sell board feet? Do I have to sell board feet? What can I haul? How do I assess my value? How to calculate my board feet? I had to do some pricing research. Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, uh, any other local hardwood dealers, yards. So maybe if you're faced with the same type of situation. So here's our breakdown, guys. We have a little, we've raised a little over $500 from our lumber sales. I have more to sell, but only if it does sell. The rest of the week is going to be littered with sorting my tools and other stuff and playing a game of keep, sell, toss. I may be able to have enough items gathered for a weekend garage sale. And a few weeks later, we can be doing a moving sale. Billy Joe has been finishing up some really unique signs, and they're going to be for sale soon also. All those links are going to be in the description. The last two weeks have gone by at an astonishing pace, and we only have four weeks to go until we move. And our adventure begins, and it's starting to get real. So we've actually had to shift some of our game plan an enclosed trailer is not really available, used. You can find brand new ones. They're well out of our budget range. And the used ones, only kind of once in a while. And I've spoke to a lot of guys and a lot of dealers. And they have some inside networks. And enclosed trailers are not the way to go. So, we're still going to have a trailer. And we're still going to have something to pull it with. But, two things remain the same. September 30th, we don't have a place to live at 5 p.m., let's say. So we have to live in what we drive. There's a couple options there. There's camper and a tow rig. And based on price and availability, a lot of the campers are way out of range. And they're too new for our range. This is kind of a different area. So RVs locally, there's a few of them that are getting close to our range and we're gonna have to go with probably something like a utility trailer well we still have 30 days to go and I found a utility trailer today and we could probably make that purchase really really soon with some a little bit of marketplace love happening so that gets us rolling Another thing I wanted to mention, guys, five and a half years ago, I had nothing. And it's not about the stuff that I have. It's about what I've built. So, having literally nothing to building something, I can let the shop go. And I can rebuild the shop wherever it is. One thing remains the same is I have to stay in work, which one of my work is video. <clears throat> one of the things that keeps me sober is video and woodworking. So I can rebuild this and I can share that along the way. But I have to get to Michigan and that's another ball of wax. And watch the other videos and you'll see why I'm going to Michigan. I'm going to downsize my stuff in the next week. 
my stuff and my other stuff. I certainly don't need four table saws. I'm going to process number four and I'm probably going to process number three. And we may wing it on number two, but we're keeping number one. Um, as the options unfold financially and as the trailer availability trailer avail of trailer availability happens and RV ability happens we're gonna move forward so I'm gonna share all these videos with you guys stay tuned for a short tomorrow that's doing some awesome little bowls out of heart pine with a router You guys are the rock stars that are still sticking around. Thank you, everybody, for still being here. I had to use my notes to get started and get rolling and get feeling what I needed to say to you folks. But, yes, yeah, stay tuned. When you're in the break room, grab your buddy's phone. Please subscribe him to the channel and tell him the story of the dungeon. Go back and watch some of the other videos. Carving out my workbenches, guys. If you're also interested, pop over to Billy Joe's channel, my old channel, watch some of those videos. Do not watch the first video on that channel, and that's me saying, hi mom, a little over five years ago. Guys, you guys are rock stars, get on your shop and start making some sawdust, and I'm going to watch the audience retention on this thing. I love you guys. Bye.